In this video, we are going to learn how to make a 15 puzzle via Scratch programming. We are going to do the project overview, the system demonstration, and the code for making the game. We want to make a 15 puzzle using Scratch programming language. Here's how it looks like. When for part one, you can only just drag this house. For part two, the machine or the computer can scramble all those tiles itself and you will have to solve them. It takes some time to scramble. All right, the scrambling is done. All right, we finally solved it. Let's just go back out. This is the code we'll need. We'll need a swap position block, which will set a temporary variable to the first item. Then it will replace item A with of position with item B of position and replace B of item B of position with the temporary variable. Set clone to one actually. We need that for the scrambling part. And clone should be a variable for this sprite only choice. For all sprites, um not don't worry about that one. And min number, don't worry. 10 for all sprites and to move no, for all sprites. Some of this will be needed in part two, which is the scrambling part. So when I start as a clone, set clone to one. However, if touching mouse pointer and mouse down, which means if this sprite is clicked and to move equals zero, which means that this, I, the, Tiles can freely move. Oh. Anyway, there are 15 costumes. 1, 2, 3, blah, blah, blah. 15. And to move equals 0, or to move equals item number of costume number in position, which means that it's the tiles turn to move for part 2, then if item number of costume number in position minus four equals to item number of new in position, which means that the tile needs to slide up, then we do a swap. The swap. Item number of costume number in position and item number of new. And black one seconds to X position and Y position plus 19. This is essentially the same thing as change y by 90, except that we do a black block. And we uh, use similar logic. If item number of costume number in position minus 1 equals item number of new in position and we need this important condition over here. Not item number of costume number in position modulo 4 equals 1, which means that it's not on the left column. Then, well, just perform the swap and flat 1 second to so x, x position minus 90 and y, y position. If item number of costume number in position plus 1, which I've just used minus negative 1, equals to item number of new in position and not that one is this value modulo 4 is equals to 0 which means it's not in the right column then we'll just do a swap and this time move it to the right similarly if this plus 4 is equals to that then we just do a swap and move it down when the green flag click set cloned and to move both to zero, delete off the position, which essentially clears the whole board. Show and switch costume to costume one. We go to that position, which is the top, the top left corner, and repeat fifteen times. We create a clone, which is what you can see. 
add costume number to position and change it by 90. If x position is greater than 135, and essentially we just go to the new row. And next, costume, hide, and add new to position, which is a blank spot. Right, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. If you like it, please subscribe. And 